Hello, in this session, we'll discuss the topic of center and circle of curvature. So, let's start with some of the basic definition and then we'll also try to understand with this with the help of a diagram. So, first of all, let's say we have got any curve or any curve. If we can find or if we can approximate a circle so the circle which best approximates the curve near a given point is actually called circle of curvature for the given curve at that particular point. So let's try to understand this basically. Let's say that we have got a curve here and then there's certain point P, let's say X comma Y. Now at this particular point or to the very near places of this point on the curve, if we can approximate or if we can approximate or some circle let's say something like this let's say this fits best for the circle at this point and then of course there should be a, a center to the, to the circle and there should be certain radius to the circle so for this curve at this point p if you can approximate a circle, of course there should be a center to the circle, there should be certain radius to the circle. So this is all about our topic which is center and circle of curvature. So the first definition was about circle of curvature. Now let us move to the next part which is center of the curvature. So of course like if we are talking about the circle there should be a center. So the center of the circle which lies on so this center of the circle needs to lie on the concave side of the curve so lies on the concave side of the curve or we can also say that it should be on the positive direction of the normal at that point at the given point let's say of the curve so the center needs to be either on the you can say like it should be on the concave side or otherwise you can say that it should be on the positive direction of the normal at the given point of the curve so this particular thing, this point or the center is the center of curvature. So this was about center of curvature. Now, the third thing is, which we have already learned about, is the radius of the circle. Radius of the circle of curvature. This is something which we have already learned about, the radius of the circle of curvature for the Cartesian coordinate or for the polar coordinates and all that we have already covered. So this radius of the circle of curvature is actually a radius of the circle which we have just found. That's it. And it is generally denoted by by rho. So if we see this approximate or this rough figure, if this was the circle, this was the circle at this point, then with C as the center, which if you want, we can denote this as, let's say, X bar, Y bar. And P was the point on the curve uh, for which we were trying to find the center or circle of the curvature. And this distance of the center to the point P was the radius of the circle of curvature. That's it. Now, also, if you need to understand this as per the Cauchy, so as per Cauchy, The idea was center of curvature is defined as 
intersection point of let's say two normals so two infinitely close normal lines to the curve let us again try to understand this with a rough curve let's say if this is the curve we have this is one point P and then there's another point Q so if we try to find the normal to this curve at point P and at point Q so they are going to intersect at certain point let's say n fine so we want this Q to approach P because it needs to be very near to P like that so this P let's say if has a coordinate of X comma Y and Q is having let's say X plus del X comma Y plus del Y and the point of intersection of these normals are N so we can say that as Q approaches P then this point of intersection that is N will actually approach to center of the circle of curvature like that so as soon as your Q starts moving towards your P it gets closer and closer to P then the point of intersection of the normals to these two points P and Q will actually be giving you the center of curvature fine so this is how we can understand it otherwise now let us also try to understand the expression for this uh, center of curvature and then radius and everything so understanding the expression so let us try to understand the expression for the center of curvature here we can see this like let's say that we have got a curve which is y equal to f of x here and then at some point p which is x comma y the coordinate for p is x comma y we are drawing a tangent to this curve and it will have a certain slope let's say the angle is psi with your positive x axis so tan psi will be the slope now let's say that from p drawing the normal we are getting the center of curvature c here and uh, let's say the coordinate for c is x bar and y bar so this distance c p will actually be rho that is radius of curvature and uh, since the slope will have an angle of psi so this QP is going to run parallel to the x-axis therefore this angle that is QPP will also be psi only and since this CP is normal or perpendicular to the curve at this point P therefore CPT will also be 90 degree and since this is 90 degree this one of the angle is psi so the other one is 90 minus psi now this CQ is running perpendicular to QP so this is also 90 degree so if these two angles are complementary and these two angles are complementary therefore psi and this angle C should be same so we can say that this is also supposed to be psi only so three of these angles are all measuring the same which is psi also for this curve as we can see that tan psi which will be the slope will be the first derivative so I can say it is going to be y1 first derivative of y with respect to x and on that basis we can say sin psi should be y1 upon root of 1 plus y1 square and cos psi should be 1 upon root of 1 plus y1 square so these are certain values which we expect here and then after that we can also see that uh, in this case like we will be talking about radius of curvature so let us also consider that part so for the radius of curvature we have already learned this in the Cartesian curve and the polar curve and all that so this radius of curvature in Cartesian curve rho is given by 1 plus y1 square whole to the power of 3 by 2 divided by y2 y2 is the second derivative of y with respect to x so this y1 is dy over dx and y2 is d2y over dx square like that fine so with these knowledge of 
tan psi, sin psi, cos psi and radius. Let us now talk about the center of curvature. So for center of curvature C which is having a coordinate of x bar and y bar. Let us start with x bar. So this x bar if you see is actually nothing but this distance that is OR and if you talk about y bar it is going to be this whole thing which is you can say the same as the length of CR. So let us start with x bar uh, which is OR here. So this x bar is going to be OR and this is going to be OS minus RS. We can see this in this diagram here that this thing is OR which can be written as OS minus RS so that we are left with this part. Now this RS this RS is going to be same as QP and for this right angle triangle that is CQP we can see that with this angle C to be psi and CP which is hypotenuse is equal to rho radius of curvature we can see that QP is going to be rho sin psi and similarly CQ is going to be rho cos psi so we will be using that uh, CQ also in future so that's why we have already discussed about this so OR is OS minus RS so this OS is nothing but X because that comes from the coordinate of P as X and Y so X minus RS which is actually equal to QP so we can say this is X minus rho sin psi so this x bar is rho sin psi and now that we have already checked with the value of sin psi also which is y1 by under root of 1 plus y1 square and uh, rho as the radius of curvature is already been given for the Cartesian curve so using these values we can say that x bar is going to be x minus 1 plus y1 square to the power of 3 by 2 divided by y2 that is second derivative into sin psi which is y1 upon 1 plus y1 square. So this thing gets cancelled and can be simplified as x minus y1 times of 1 plus y1 square divided by directly y2. This is x bar this is important. This is the x coordinate. Now similarly talking about the y coordinate we can see this thing this complete CR is going to be y value that is y bar for the center of curvature which can be written as RQ plus CQ. So CQ is rho cos psi and this QR is nothing but equal to PS and PS is the value for the y coordinate of point P. So on that basis we can see that for the y coordinate part y coordinate is going to be equal to rc and rc is going to be equal to rq plus qc and rq which will also be equal to sp here which is y actually so sp plus instead of qc we can write rho cos psi so this sp is y and this rho is 1 plus y1 square whole to the power of 3 by 2 divided by y2 into cos psi is 1 upon root of 1 plus y1 square. So with that we get y bar as y plus 1 plus y1 square upon y2. So this is the expression for the y coordinate of center of curvature. So we have found both x and y coordinate for the center of curvature. Now since we already have the center of curvature also we also have radius of curvature also. So with center of circle or center of circle of curvature anything that is C in this case x bar comma y bar and uh, radius of curvature which we have already learnt about which is rho here we can give the equation for the circle so the equation of the circle of curvature 
will be given by x minus x bar whole square plus y minus y bar whole square equal to rho square so this is going to be the equation for the circle of curvature also point to be noted as let's say the center of curvature is at infinity if the curvature is zero so if the curvature is zero in that case the center of the curvature will be at infinity so this is all about the circle the center of curvature and the radius of curvature in this part and i hope you would have understood thank you